Yeah, boy. Hey, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another reaction video for today. And I'm here to take a look at the Last of Us Day official teaser trailer for The Last of Us Season 2. We got double Last of Us in the title. It's a little weird. Anyway, so we all figured this was going to come, right? The only thing I knew was definitely not going to happen today. And, and, and I don't know, maybe, I guess it could still happen, I guess. But I highly doubt it is an announcement of some new game or something. But I think this, we all expected. Um, in some way, we'd get teaser. I mean, they stopped, I think they finished filming this a little while ago at this point. So having a quick little teaser makes sense. Anyway, so we got a scene. She's playing guitar. Uh, that's nice. Um, I won't say anything else, I guess. Anyway, just in case some people haven't played the game. But uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm going to guess this is going to be a whole scene. This, this scene right here. So, uh, let's get to it. Let's check this out, shall we? I'm gonna have to put this, sorry. Um, I don't trust any copyright, anyway. Anymore. Uh, even, even the last MCU thing got blocked. <laughs> so, screw it. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Three, two, one, play. <gasps> okay, yeah. Start Beetlejuice. Good choice. There it is. Looking good. There's that, there's that snow. Let's try something different. This is, uh, okay, okay. You can't heal something unless you're brave enough to say it out loud. Oh, there's Nina. Oh, this is the take on me scene, yeah. Oh man. Oh wow. Say it out loud. Hey. No what it is, no matter how bad. The best new character in the last of us. <laughs> the best character that was introduced in the last of us, part, part two. Oh man. What did you do? Uh, oh, that's Abby. Yeah. Uh, 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 It's like they're sticking pretty close. <laughs> and it's, it's like a, a, some people ain't gonna be happy. Oh my god. Oh. I don't know. Yep. Hopefully he'll actually be in the, this season. Maria. Maria, Maria. Oh my god. What? Alright. <laughs> okay, it wasn't a, it wasn't a scene. I guess. All right, all right. That was pretty good. I'm gonna have to watch that again. That was pretty good. Uh, I've I've said it before. I don't think. Uh, oh, they put the entire first episode. Up? Damn, I didn't know that. I've said it before. I don't think um, the Last of Us Part Two is a very good story, personally. Um, there are good scenes in it, though, we'll say. There are good moments, but overall, I don't think it's a very... I don't think the way they tell it is the best. I, I don't want... Again, I don't want to spoil it. Just in case, there's going to be people out there that, uh, watch this that has never watched, um... Last of Us, uh... Or played The Last of Us 1 or 2, so... We're not spoil. I mean, I, could, I guess I could spoil the first game. I mean, they pretty much covered most of the first game... I mean, obviously, there's some stuff they left out and some stuff they changed. Actually, they changed a good amount of stuff. Some of it for the better. Oh, you want to start? So she's just a, a therapist. So, so does he confine, confide in, confide? Is that the word? Whatever. He just, he just. So the scene in the beginning of Last of Us Part Two, I, I'll, I'll say this is that it's him talking to Tommy. I'm assuming that scene will still be in here. But he also have this scene with this therapist played by Catherine O'Hare. It's weird seeing her in something else already because she's not in a lot of stuff. So. Or she was just in Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That's why I said Beetlejuice earlier. <laughs> I'm going to get some comments like, Beetlejuice, what? <laughs> I'm assuming this is supposed to be before, because she still looks like how she looked in this first season, is my guess. You can't heal 
feel something unless you're brave enough to say it out loud. I think Dina is a very wasted character in part two. I, I, I didn't hate her at all, but like, I felt, I felt like she was just kind of there. That was, that was the best way to describe her character. There's some drama, obviously, with Jesse and pregnancy. Jesse doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I like that Jesse's like, okay, oh wait, Jesse's about to show up. Jesse's the best character in part two. I'm talking about new character. So that scene is this this one is a pivotal scene. I wonder how they're gonna when they're gonna show this scene. If they're gonna do the same thing in part two. Wait, if they're showing this scene, I thought they were only doing like half the story or something like that. I guess when I heard like a, like part a season two and three, unless this is a no, because this is the scene. Yeah, all right. I won't. If they're doing that scene, that has to, wait. I'm so conf maybe they're they're mixing things. I don't know. What I had to is Abby. At least she doesn't look like a Gears of War character. I'm still I'm still against that choice to make her like bulky. I, it makes sense in the story, I guess, but like, uh, I, I mean, fun gameplay, I'll say. Just run around, fucking knocking <laughs> clickers out. I will say, like, a lot of the factions and stuff I'm not, like, the biggest fan of, so you're not going to see me go like, I, I got excited for Jeffrey Wright, just because fucking Jeffrey Wright. I like how he looks actually younger in this than he did in the game, and this is actually him. <laughs> not a video game version of him. He doesn't age, I swear. Yeah, this, I want to see, what is this? What is happening here? Oh, there's Dina again. What is happening here? Oh, is this maybe, uh, what's her name? Is this, m I can't tell. Who is this? Is that? Who is that? Is that, is that Abby? Maybe younger? Is that, is that the Ellie actress? I can't tell because she looks weird here. I don't know. Well, you definitely can't see her with the text here. I actually forgot I had the double text there. Whoops. Anyway. I don't know. I actually can't tell. Yeah, that's weird. You know, this little tear boy. That was a good teaser, man, though. That was very good. you and me. So, it, I have a feeling they're going to do a lot more uh, uh, of flashback scenes, I guess. But who knows? Anyway, there you go. That was good. That was a good teaser, man. I am I, even though I don't like The Last of Us 2 story gameplay wise, I like The Last of Us Part 2 quite a bit. But um, story wise, I'm not the biggest fan of it. And no, it's not because what happens in the beginning of the fucking game. You could totally make that work. They just I don't think they did. I think there's a lot of, of conveniences in the story, which there are to be fair in Last of Us Part One. But the the core relationship between Ellie and Joel is so strong. And even some of the side characters they come across throughout the game are so strong. And the writing, for the most part, is so strong that it kind of, you know... There's nothing in The Last of Us Part Two that I think really works. I think Jesse's a cool character, but they kind of waste him. Uh, I think Dina is, could be a good character, but they completely don't even use her almost at all. Like, she's there, I guess, but she doesn't... She doesn't do... She really doesn't. Like, if you really look at it, she... She doesn't do anything that affects the story um, too much. Uh, uh, even like the other factions and stuff, like the wolves, all that stuff. Like I don't know. And uh, what was it called? The Seraph? The, what the hell is the the cults? Whatever that they're hinting at here. Seraph? The Seraph? Whatever. I don't give a shit. I don't. I just don't find that interesting. It could be interesting in the game. They don't really do a good job of it. I don't think. Um, maybe in this, maybe this, this will do well. Like, this has every right to be better than the game. It has every chance and every right to be. Because the first season, I think, is great. Uh, is there some stumbles here and there? I guess. But I don't think they're, like, huge stumbles. I think the Left Behind story after... Because I watched season one again through some reactions and stuff. 
uh, uh, but I watched that episode again because it was so divisive. Um, and I do think there was a lot of like, there's too much waiting around and not waiting around. What's the word I'm looking for? There was too many conveniences. Like, they played all around and stuff, and then, they, of course, there's a clicker there and stuff. But there's also, like, a lot of, like, st not stalling, but there's there was too much of, like, I don't know. There's there was something about it that felt like the pace was off on the second watch. I don't know. Anyway, um, the the episode with uh, Bill, though, is great. I don't care what anybody says. That's a great episode. Fantastic episode. Anyway, so uh, I know some people were just like, well, they're gay. I'm like, they're fucking... He was obviously gay in the game, too. I don't know what to tell you. And Ellie was gay in the game, too. I would, which, it, to be fair, it isn't revealed until you play the Left Behind DLC. Which I remember that... I I remember... I don't want to say names. They're not watching this anyway. But someone I know spoiled that for me by making a video for like, called, like, Top 5 Gay Relationships in Games. And it was literally the... No, it was the day after, I think, the Left Behind DLC came out. And I didn't even watch it yet. Or play it yet. Um, and the thumbnail was was um, Ellie and um, Riley? Is that her name? Um, and I was just like, oh, cool. <laughs> Top 5 Gay Relationships in Games. And it was <laughs> a fucking thumbnail. was those two. I'm like, oh, wow. All right, thank you. Anyway. All right, that was a good trailer. Anyway, that's it. Bye.